Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. This is part two of my empties video because I didn't realize how long it would take to film that and I thought I could get through all those products in maybe 40 minutes and make that about a 20 to 30 minute video but I was so very wrong so I'm doing a second part because I wanted the videos to be a little shorter and to segment it by random beauty stuff and makeup. So this is the makeup part. So that's your jam, then stay tuned. If you're new to my channel and this is your first video with me, hi, welcome. My name is Em and you're watching Makeup Ray. If this is your first time here and you like what you see today, please make sure to click that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Click the thumbs up button and leave me a nice comment so that YouTube can continue to share my video with everyone. One of my goals this year is to hit a thousand subscribers and I can more easily reach that goal if you help me out by clicking that thumbs up and leaving comments below. Anyway, you're not here for that. Thank you again for being here. I'm, 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 I can ramble sometimes, so. Let's get into it. So here's what's left of my empties basket. I have a whole bag full of all the other stuff, so be sure to check out that video as well. It's linked up below, up below that. It's linked up above and also below in the description box. So the first few things here are not that interesting, I'll be honest, but they're still very handy to have. The first one is the Cetaphil cleansing cloths or makeup remover wipes. Um, these ones are for dry, sensitive skin. I bought these because it's good for sensitive skin, because I have eczema, and sometimes I just need something that's going to be gentle enough for that poor, cracked, dry, flaky skin. This didn't bother. I like these, and I do actually continue to repurchase them. However, I try not to use them too often. I have a makeup eraser that I prefer to use, and I'm also trying to be more eco-friendly and eco-conscious, so when I do swatches and things like that is pretty much when I use these. If I don't have a towel or anything else readily available, or if I have a lot of glitter on my face or something like that where, you know, I need a little bit of something something to get that off before, you know, diving into like a makeup eraser or something, then I'll use these, but I do really like those. Another makeup remover wipe that I tried out were the Neutrogena Naturals Purifying Cleansing Talette. This one I did not like. This one made my face sting. Um, I could not use this on my face. I would get this numbing or tingling sensation because I think I was allergic to these. Whatever was in it, I don't know. It just, it did not feel good. My face felt inflamed after using them. So I stopped using them on my face and only used these for when I was trying to remove makeup off my hands or something like that. So I will not repurchase these and if you have really sensitive skin I don't recommend purchasing these as well. I much prefer their regular ones that come in the kind of bluish or purple packaging. Another random thing which um, I'm trying not to buy too many of anymore but I still use them because you just, yeah. This is an empty uh, wrapper for cotton rounds, you know those flat cotton pads because I use these when I have glitter on like I do today. I'll use that to help remove some of that or in part of my evening routine um, when I am removing makeup I'll tone my face and I'll use the cotton pads on my face just to make sure I'm getting up all that dirt and sometimes that helps for me to see if I need to cleanse my face a little bit better. So that's what I use these for. Oh and for my nails when I do my nails. Obviously we're going to rebuy these. This was a dollar store brand. Not really exciting, but it's one of those necessary things, you know. Next thing up is this Itty Bitty Sample. This is the Cleanse Off Oil from MAC. Definitely a little sample size. I'm starting to fall in love with cleansing oils, and this is what made me fall in love with them. I have not purchased the full size because, hello, quarantine, and I got this earlier this year, just before quarantine started, so I haven't been into a MAC store to purchase, and I'm just, I haven't wanted to shop online much. So I did buy another cleansing oil that I I'm enjoying right now so once I'm out of that I might try the MAC one again. I don't know with 100% certainty that I would need to buy MAC because it's just a more expensive version of one that I found that does the job just as well for like half or less than half the price. I'm up in the air about purchasing this in the future but I did like it. Okay, so this item actually should have been in the last video, but whatever, I'm just going to talk about it here. This was the Aromatherapy Shower Tablets um, from Ulta. It's the Ulta brand. So it's basically like those bath bombs, but in a flat tablet form. And when you're taking a shower, you throw this on the floor of your shower, and it's supposed to release these essential oils and, you know, make your shower smell nice and girly and fun. I actually have quite a few of these in different scents, and I do regularly use them. This one is the Verbena 
and lemongrass one, which is actually not my favorite scent. So I probably won't repurchase this particular one, but I will repurchase other scents that I enjoy. If you don't have a bathtub, like I didn't for a long time, then these shower tablets are kind of a fun way to add a little zing to your shower. And, and it's kind of an alternative to the bath bomb. They don't do anything for your skin. They're just there mainly for the scent. Yeah, I really like these and will continue to purchase. This is another oil that I got. Actually, not. it's more of a serum than an oil, and it's from Derma Deli, and it's a pumpkin seed serum. This was definitely in an Ipsy bag, and I remember being really sad because I didn't screw the lid on all the way, and it got knocked over, so I lost quite a bit of the product. I didn't get to use it all. Yeah, I was really sad, so I maybe only got to use half of it. It's a little bit thicker, so when you apply it, you have to kind of rub it in, which I kind of like in the winter time. I don't know that I would like this so much in the summer months when my skin's a little bit more oily. I haven't purchased the full size. Um, I don't know that I will. I Again, I didn't get to try too much of this to be able to form like a full opinion on it. I would be interested in purchasing a full size one if I needed some sort of serum for my face that had this kind of texture. Again, maybe in the winter time I'll revisit, but I don't really need it right now because I got so many others I need to use up. So I probably, realistically, won't be purchasing, but I might. Maybe. We'll see. This isn't makeup, but it is by a brand known for their makeup, and it's the Essence Gel Look Plumping Top Coat. This dried out. It has a texture similar to Sesh Beat. That is hard to say right now. It kind of wraps around your nail and kind of gives it that bubble effect. It's nice. However, for me and my thin, fine, brittle nails, this kind of top coat doesn't work the best for me because it often peels right off and the color goes with it. So I prefer kind of your thinner top coats opposed to the gel ones. But if you really like that gel finish and you don't want to spend 8 to $12 on a top coat, then the Essence one might be a good option for you because I think this was maybe 3 or $4, maybe $5. So it's an affordable option. I just won't be repurchasing it because it did. I just it doesn't work for me. Okay, you get out of there. Thank you. I did a whole decluttering series of my eyeliners. So um, before I actually did the full decluttering, there were a couple eyeliners that I stuck into my empties because I already knew that they weren't good anymore and I just wanted them out of that drawer so I wasn't grabbing for them by mistake. There are these three black eyeliner pencils from e.l.f. These were all brand new. Um, they have never been used. However, they are extremely old and they were just sitting in my drawer for the longest time. I had so many of these because I had used them in a giveaway many, 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 many years ago. They're no longer good. I just, they're dry, they're uncomfortable. Maybe e.l.f. has changed their formula, but I was not that impressed with these after I gave them a good go. There are many eyeliners that I like a lot better than these ones. So they're just gonna go in the trash because they're too old to use. Another eyeliner I have here is a liquid eyeliner from JLB. I talked about this brand in my declutters. I did a whole video dedicated to makeup that I found I think at Ross or TJ Maxx and this was one of their brands and I did not like these liquid eyeliners and I have no idea why I kept them in my makeup drawer because I never grabbed for them. They were too watery. They just did not do a good job. So I finally decided to declutter this because I went to use it just to try to get myself to use it and it was just clumpy and gross so it was just no not worth it another one that I have in my empties is this gold glitter liner this is from elf and I really liked it however it just dried up over the years as you can tell it just kind of moved off to one side so it's too old to use this was my ride or die for the longest time when I was maybe 21 or 22 I go through these phases where I have different signature makeup looks and back in 2012, 2013, my signature eye look was to put on a shimmering or really pretty eyeshadow that was kind of a light dusting of it and then I would put this gold glitter liner over my lash line on the bottom and just in the center of the upper lash line and that was my look. So that was my ride or die for that for the longest time but obviously that was a long time ago and it's really old and it's time to say goodbye to it. I don't actually have any other glitter liquid liners just because I haven't found myself wanting to wear them lately. However, if I did want another gold one like this, I would repurchase this one because I liked it. All right, last and not least in my eyeliners is the NYX White Liquid Liner. This one just 
is old and it dried up. I got a lot of use out of this when I did my makeup of the day images for Instagram. I was doing the 100 day makeup challenge. By the way, I never finished it. I did a lot of funky editorial makeup looks using this and I have since repurchased it because I really like it. Some people don't, they say it cracks, but I never experienced that cracking. So there's that. Alrighty, next up is this It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Eyebrow Pencil. I used it up to the very nub. I wasn't sure when I first got this that I would like it because it's such a thick pencil. However, I used it. Obviously, I used it. And I really liked it. And I do have a backup somewhere. I have to find it because I really do like it. Once I go through that backup, I probably will repurchase this because I really did like it. The taupe shade was that perfect kind of neutral tone that wasn't too yellow or too orange or red for me. And yeah, it works really well. So it cosmetics has it going on. Uh, next is the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer in Light. I use this several times. It's supposed to be a base that kind of tints your eyelids so that it's a little bit lighter. I didn't really notice the tint as much. I feel like other primers do a better job on that tint. However, I love Smashbox's Photo Finish Primers. I think they are truly astounding products. And I did actually really like this, but I liked it more for a primer for concealer. So that probably sounds weird, but I would put it on under any area that needed concealer and I think it just did a really good job boosting it. I will actually plan to repurchase this at one point. I really liked this product, but not for what it was intended for the eyelids. I liked it more for concealer primer. If that ever existed, this is it. All right, ready for a lightning round because these are all mascaras I've decluttered because they're old or things I just didn't like and will never wear. This is really old. It is the CoverGirl Bombshell Volume. It has a double-ended mascara. It's so big. I really liked this, but they don't make it anymore, so I can't repurchase it. There is the Seraphine Botanicals Curl Imperial Mascara. This dried up before I could really dive into it. I got it as a deluxe sample. It was an okay mascara. It's not anything that knocked my socks off, so I won't purchase that. Next is this Paris Hilton Lengthening Mascara. I did a whole video on Paris Hilton Cosmetics. I have more information about the mascara there. Will not repurchase this particular one. Not my favorite. This one is the Ico Lash Alert Mascara. I actually did really like it and it's a squeeze tube which I like. As a makeup artist you can be hygienic with this if you really like this kind of mascara for your clients. But I really liked how this looked on my lashes and I would repurchase this at some point. Especially for my makeup kit. Um, next is this Lash Activator by Cargo. I did not find that it did anything special for my lashes, so it, I purchased this in like a little set where it came with a mascara, the activator, and some sort of eyebrow thing. I would not repurchase this. It just didn't do anything for me. Next is this uh, Ico Lengthening Skinny Mini Mascara. This one I didn't like as much because the wand is really funky. This one I would not end up repurchasing. I don't like the wand. I don't feel as though it did a really good job plumping up my lashes and combing through them. The wand is just not ideal for me so I won't repurchase that one. There's this LA Colors Dramata Lash Mascara. This one is okay. It also has kind of a funky wand so it isn't my favorite. So I'm, I just decided to declutter this and no I will not repurchase it. Next is this Model Co Mascara Volumize. This one is so old that the mascara wand clumped together. I actually really liked this mascara and if I need a mascara again in the future, I would actually repurchase that. It's not my all time favorite, but it is a good mascara for me. Next is the It's So Big mascara from Elizabeth Mott. The wand is an okay wand. I don't remember actually being wowed by this mascara. I can't recall what it made my lashes look like, so I think that's an indication that it wasn't my favorite mascara. This has been in my empties pile a while, um, so I probably won't repurchase that because I'm not, not remembering any wildness from it. And finally, the Their Real Mascara from Benefit. I have repurchased and used this particular mascara many many times over. It is one of my favorites. So yes, I will repurchase that when I need mascara. Whew. 
Lightning round done. We only have four more products to go through, so thanks for sticking it out with me. Next up is this Estee Lauder Double Lightwear Foundation. I've been using this for years. The Double Lightwear Foundation is so good. If you don't need a full coverage foundation and you want kind of this natural finish to the skin that's a little dewy, this is not as matte or as opaque as the Double Wear Foundation, which is a ride or die for a lot of people. I prefer this one myself. This one I've been using since I was 18 or 19 years old, so I will continue to repurchase. I have backups, that sort of thing. I really like this foundation. It's really good. Next is this LA Splash Lip Gloss, and it's a gold glitter suspended in a clear gloss. I never really used this. I bought them to try them and I gave a bunch of them away in a giveaway many years ago but it was just not something I grabbed for so it has since gone bad. I don't really like glitter on the lips because it can be really abrasive so I won't repurchase that. Next is this Jersey Shore Sun Mongongo Nutrient Dense Anti-Aging Lip Conditioner. This was also an Ipsy Bag product. It's not empty, but it went bad. It has a funky scent. There's some oils and essential oils or something kind of leaking from it. So it has expired. It needs to go in the trash. I don't buy a lot of lip balms because I get so many of them in my Ipsy bags. And people just give them to me as gifts. So I won't be repurchasing this anytime soon. Um, I do like how it felt on the lips. I felt that it was moisturizing. But it wasn't my favorite one out of all of them that I've used. I think it does a decent job though. So if I were in a pinch, I would purchase it. Final product is this lipstick and it is old and gross. I don't even want to show you it. I don't even know if they still make this lip color but it's M Cosmetics when it was still owned by L'Oreal. This is a lipstick called Kiss Me. I don't know if since Michelle bought the company if she kept her lipstick formula. The lipsticks were nice. I just didn't really grab for this color. It's one of those colors for the summer and I don't wear a lot of lipsticks in the summertime because it's just, I'm more of a gloss girl. I like lipsticks but it's just not something I gravitate towards. However, I've heard that her new line of products, the one that she develops herself that's not the L'Oreal Lancome backed whateverness that was before. I've heard so many good things about her brand since then. If Michelle ever came out with lipsticks in her newly revamped line, I would probably purchase them. I'm not sure I would purchase this color though. It's pretty, but it's very poppy and orange, and I have so many shades like that, and it did go bad pretty quickly. A lot of my other ones that are older than this are still fine, so anyway, that's it. That's it. We're done. We're empty. My empties are empties. My basket, yes. <laughs> Okay, so go check out the other video if you haven't yet. Be sure to leave me a comment below. What are some of the things that you're proud of that you've kind of gone through and used up and have emptied out? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and again, click that subscribe button if you haven't already. I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day wherever you are and I hope you stay happy, stay healthy, and stay well. Stay electric. 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 Stay electric. Stay electric as always, and I'll see you next time. Mwah. Bye!